Oh man, we are running behind. So it is about 10 a.m. I normally get up at 5 a.m. every day and today when I got up my back was killing me and it was so cold I decided to go back to bed so I could lay on my heating pad and I think I woke up at like 8 maybe and then showered and got ready and all of that so we're behind. Alright, I'm recovering from being sick so I've been sick for about a week here. We've had company on and off for probably the last five or six weeks. My parents were here with us for a little over three weeks and it was so good. Um, they left on a Saturday. I got woke up sick that following Sunday morning um, and then it's just been kind of crazy since then. So I'm actually feeling a lot better now, but my house is in a state of disarray. So, um, you know, just when mama's sick, things tend to like not be, um, exactly the way they are when you're not sick. Um, though everyone tries, but with schedules have been crazy too with just work, um, the kids work and sports and all of the normal things. But anyway, I feel a lot better today. I thought I would show you guys kind of the state of our house. This is just real life. This is also part of this. It's just from me not getting up this morning and doing the things that I normally do. Um, but we're, we got a couple kids going on school. They're eating breakfast right now at almost 10. Um, and so I just really need to focus today on kind of like getting my life back in order. I got to get my life together, y'all. It's crazy. Um, and then also today is the day that the new Kroger ad comes out. So I wanted to um, go online and look at that ad and see if there's any deals. We still have about, let's see, almost maybe two weeks left for this um, no tax on food here in Tennessee. So I'm trying to really keep an eye on those deals. So I'd like to get that done today and then just kind of bring you guys along and see what we can get done. But I'm going to show you what my house looks like right now. I don't know. To some of you, maybe it's not that bad, but to me, it's really crazy. And I just feel behind on like my normal day-to-day -day stuff that I'm responsible for. So sorry about the noise. It's loud. There's kids here. That's another thing. I just feel like I haven't um, been able to film because I don't really know like how to do it and I'm trying to figure out the balance of all of that like um, how to get things done but also still um, have my children and my husband and my home be the priority that they need to be and I don't think to like grab the camera and and follow along with that so it's just it doesn't seem natural to me and I'm not used to it so but I do want to show you guys more of like real life day-to-day -day things here um, because I feel like that's probably what you're interested in um, I know that when I um, had less kids and could watch other moms doing things you know like uh, it was so helpful to me just to learn different ways and interesting to me to see how other people do things so I want to be able to do that for you guys I just have to get um, to be better in the habit of grabbing this camera and then and I always feel like oh it's too loud here or it's too messy or whatever but I'm just gonna start showing you guys because otherwise I am not going to ever get a video up but anyway okay I'm gonna quit rambling I'm gonna show you guys what this house looks like and then hopefully today we will be able to tackle some of this and make some improvements so I didn't have anything prepared for breakfast this morning and of course we were out of milk which no one told me so the kids can't have cereal we had some leftover pancakes so they are working on that right now but I don't think it's enough that they're gonna actually be full so we're probably gonna to have to come up with something else anyway this is the kitchen right now it's just all a, a whole thing Lincoln is making me breakfast though so that's super nice leftover empty I boxes not. from last night bro you need those headphones open right bud yes. so you can get going on school yeah. all right I think I'm gonna to have to use those scissors from the thing because um we can't find any scissors because my child that's responsible for running the dishwasher did not run it last night as well. And sometimes this happens, but again, normally I'm up at early in the morning, I would see that and it would be done by the time anyone woke up. But because I also slept in this morning, this is just where we're at. So, got a mess in here, just lots of things going on, trash overflowing, shoes everywhere. It's a whole thing, guys. Okay, well, let me help you with that, buddy, okay? Okay. Let me help you get that. All right, bud. You gonna go get started on school now? Yep. These are nice right, headphones. To, new. Yes. Untwist that little zip tie thing. Ooh, I should show them the garage real quick. Turn on the ladder. Okay, laundry room. It's not terrible, but these blankets have been folded here for a few days now. Um, 
This is all clean laundry that needs to get folded and put away today and I have a whole bunch more upstairs. Um, and then bathroom isn't terrible but needs to be dealt with. And then something cool. Something cool though that we um, have been able to get done in the last week is we were really wanting um so this last week the weather has turned cold it has been well cold for here but um it has been in like the 80s and then this past week was in like the high 70s um or week before this past week i should say it's been in like the high 70s and then this week we have um it's mostly 60s and lots of days where the high is like 50. so um and raining there's lots of rain here so one thing that we wanted to do was to turn our garage area to get that clean and organized and kind of turn that into a, a space for the kids so that they have like another place to go and play when they can't be outside either because it's too cold or it's raining um, and so mike and i have worked on that this week um, we had gotten our shelves from storage i had told you guys that so that is holding like our food storage and our other stuff and then i'll just turn this around and show you guys so this is what we've been able to do. This is our garage. This is the door from the house that comes into the garage. And then these are our um, some of our shelves that I had set up and we've been using for food storage. And then I just had these curtains that were left over from the last house. And um, I'll just kind of show you guys like back here is where we keep all the food and these come back. But I just hung these curtains up here because I had them. Um, these are the lights that the kids like that are fun. Let me see as I, okay, let's make sure my zoom's on here. Um, and then we found this carpet. It's like a remnant. We got it from Ollie's if you have those. Um, they have really great deals on carpet. This is a really, really nice carpet. Thick, super tight um, carpet. And we were able to get this whole huge piece. I think it was 12 by 15. And it was just a little over 100 bucks. So we put that down in here, which made a huge difference. And the walls in here were already drywalled and painted, which really helps make the space. Um, and then we just brought our table and chairs from the camper. So this is where Monroe does his school. Um, no, we have not set up Christmas, but this is how we, this tree just stores because when we bought it, it was um, like a floor model, so it didn't have a box. So it's just been in the garage like this and the kids wanted me to set it up and go ahead and plug that in. Let me turn these lights on. Thank you, Thank you bud. Yummy, Lincoln made me breakfast. Thanks, bud. I'm so All right, I'll be right there. So this is how it looks with the lights. It's super cute. And then see how Eden can ride her little scooter and Gigi's riding her bike. So that's really what we wanted this space to be it's just another place that they could do these kinds of things. Um, so and then we have their TV and then we found the box that had our old Nintendo, like old school Nintendo, which is awesome. And our old Wii. Maybe so Mike set those up for them and got them a fire stick. So they have like this whole little living room. This is our futon from the camper. We're not going to be traveling this winter. So we just went and grabbed that out. Um, and then I picked up these two little super fun chairs um, from Walmart here. They're like a, like a plush, like fur chairs. And the ottoman we already had. So mostly everything, just stuff we already had. We're just repurposing it um, here for the winter just so that they have um, a fun place to play. And then that mattress is our mattress from the RV. We had it here for our guest. Um, and we just need to take it back to the RV and get that out of here. And then that is the bed frame. Oh, that's the bed frame that we had for the guest too. And then the girls' gymnastic bars, which we set up. And then this is more like household storage. Um, I'll show you guys here. It has like all of our canning goods, our pots and pans, our grain mill, all of that sort of thing. And then what I did is I pulled these shelves out and created like a walkway. So back behind there, I can store like the Christmas decorations and things like that. And this is just, again, like household items. Hold on, baby girl. And then down here is like tools and things like that. And then we had these mats that I brought back from Michigan. Um, and we just put these to create a walkway um, here so that when we do need to come through here, we're not, we don't have to walk on the nice carpet. So anyway, super, super cool. Um, it does stay pretty warm out here, this carpet and mats is a huge difference. I'm not I, um, hold on, sweetheart. I do want to get, um, instead of this shelf right here, the silver one, I would like to find one of those entertainment centers that have the electric fireplaces. And I would like to put that over there, put the TV on top of it. And then they have a heat source too for, because obviously it's going to get a lot colder than it is right now. 
and I would like this to be a room that they can use year round to do stuff. So this has been super fun. And then over here is our extra fridge and freezers and then our shoe bin. So really cool space and I'm happy to have this all done. I feel like even my backyard is a mess right now, but I don't know if I showed you guys. We did get the kids a trampoline. Let me see if I can go out here. Yeah, so we were able to get the kids a trampoline, so they have been loving that. And then this right here, we um, actually had wood delivered, you guys, because I have to show you something that's very exciting. So that is a pile of wood under there. We have to build um, like a storage rack to hold the wood. And then in order to make space in the garage, we had the boys bring all the bikes and they didn't quite understand where I wanted them. So the bikes, we're actually going to stack up all the bikes over here in this area and then we'll be using this outdoor furniture cover Mama. to cover them. Hold on, sweetheart. What's the matter? Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Eden, can you say you're sorry? Sorry, Greg. Okay, you girls be nice, okay? Hold out here. So this is what I was going to show you is that we actually started a fire yesterday here for the first time and we were a little bit nervous about it. Um, well, for one, we haven't had a real wood burning fireplace since our very first house um, that we bought a month before we got married in Michigan. So we bought it about a month before we got married and then we had to like do a lot of work in it and we moved in um, after we got married and that one had a wood burning fireplace. And we haven't had one since, and every fireplace we've had since then has been like gas. Um, but that wasn't why we were nervous. We were nervous because the original owners of this house who lived here for three years before we moved in had never burnt a fire in the fireplace. Isn't that amazing that they would live here for three years and never have a fire? I thought that was so bizarre. So we were just a little nervous, like, you know, being the first people to ever use it. Um, but it has been amazing. So like I said, we had wood delivered. I'm going to throw a log on this real quick to keep this going, but um, this has been so nice and just makes the house feel so cozy. All the kids were so excited yesterday when they woke up and there was a fire going. Okay, I haven't even been up here, so, uh, except for waking up this morning. So this is a pile of clothes, no clue. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to get the clothes out and throw me. In just a minute. So obviously that needs to be addressed. I know that this bathroom is awful. God, my husband's yelling at me, don't video that. It's rough. And then the girls' room, not that bad. We clean this um, every night before they go to bed. But let's get some windows open here. Get some light in this space so we can actually see. So because we had guests here for several weeks, um, and we needed a place for them to stay. We brought the boys triple bunk and that was in here. And so the boys and the, the little boys and little girls were sharing this room. This is a triple bunk. I don't think I've actually shown you guys our whole setup here, but um, so they were all in here and then Gray's little bed was here. So when my parents left, we needed to move things back and that didn't happen for a few days just because I wasn't feeling well. So I did get the rooms back in order um, and then Kind of got those organized. So this is Grace's sweet little bed. I don't know if we showed you guys. It's so precious. Um, and then we got them this little lemonade stand. They've been loving playing with that. So their room is all clean. One thing I did do is that the girls have a really hard time with their clothes. As you guys have seen me organize them a bazillion times. So I went ahead and moved all of their clothes into my closet so that I can kind of manage that a little bit better. And so this is just their toys and then um like their dress up clothes are in here so this has been really helpful and things have been working better like that and then they have the rest of their toys and stuff in here and this is mostly their books so this space is a pretty good oh we have tape on the floor it doesn't belong there and then the boys room what are you doing you're not supposed to be in here so the boys room, we put their bunk back in here, moved this chair in here. I gave Lincoln my desk because he does his schoolwork in here. This room obviously needs to be addressed too. We put their TV and their, um, I think it's their Xboxes in the closet here or PlayStation. And then um, put their dresser in the closet. So that opened up a lot of space in this room. He just sets this up at night to play his thing. So he needs to break this down and put it back. But normally, just be the desk where he does his schoolwork and then they have their beds and a place to hang out but 
we do have some things that need to be picked up but and here is a real oh goodness guys i'm embarrassed to show you but so I have all of this laundry this has been folded for i think probably three days now just waiting for me to put it away that's just real life stuff did not make the bed this morning which we do every morning religiously it's just a mess this is kind of where things have been um just coming to die <laughs> until I can get to them and I haven't been getting to them. Chips, Gigi shoes, just all the things, you know. We got a new charging station for um, the kids' tablets. So this is like what's left over of the other one. These are, it was a neatly folded sack of like new clothes for the girls. That, um, went, some of them for winter and fall and um, just a lot of things that I found on sale like end of the season, clear out kind of things for next year for them. So just a mess. This is Mike's desk. Um, just things that have come in the mail that we haven't. Guys, it's just, oh, don't judge me. It's good. This is not normally how I live. <laughs> Laundry basket here that's full. Um, when we moved, this was in the boys' bedroom closet. So when we rearranged out there, it came in here just to get out of the way. And then, of course, now it's like collecting things. So this doesn't belong in here. I have to find a home for that. This needs to be addressed. My whole bathroom needs to be addressed and my closet, which is a whole project in and of itself. So I have had this clean and organized many times. Um, the lack of storage I'm finding to be an issue. Um, I'm just used to having a basement and here there's no like defined area for, um, I guess there would be, but because we have um, so many people in our family, maybe what would be a storage closet we're actually using as a functioning um, clothes closet. So, you know, because of that, I'm just trying to figure out where to put stuff. And I've been getting things for Christmas. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but when the mold situation happened in our rental, um, we lost a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. And um, a lot of our Christmas decor was in uh, one little area under the stairs that was completely covered in mold. So I had to throw away probably 80% of what I actually had for Christmas, which wasn't much anyway, because we just hadn't saved much. So anyway, that's what this is. I've been buying things along the way. I did finally find hangers. So um, all of these bins are Mike's clothes because this is how we lived in the camper. So I want to work on getting all of this out and um, hung up as much as possible because we have all of this space. And then I'm hoping to find some sort of solution for down below here that I can start to organize things a little bit better. And then, like I said, because I bought, brought the girls clothes, let me see if I can get in here. This is what was in the girls closet. So this is all of their clothes. So I have that now under here. And then oh, this is, this is all just like brand new Christmas stuff. Like a tree for the girls room and all their ornaments that were half off and all of that my stuff over here I did get organized but now it's kind of just being thrown in here and then up here is where we have like all of our paperwork and things like that so it's just a mess it's the Christmas run I don't even have a place for it our extra arts behind the door so I really need to work on getting this space um, back in order and it really shouldn't take me that long it's just about um, finding the right way to do it. Now that I have hangers, I can work on that. We prefer like a certain kind of hanger and I haven't been able to find them. So anyway, that's where we're at with all of this. I wasn't lying. <laughs> the house really is a mess. It's chaos right now. Um, and I just need to work on getting it back together, but that's okay. These things happen. There's a lot of people that live here. Um, we all make messes, but the good thing is, is the whole many hands make light work. And that is so true. Um, so we can kind of come together as a team and I can assign jobs and we can get things put back together fairly quickly. So I'm not worried about it, but it does need to get done. And I just need to, um, prioritize things and start making it happen. So we're going to work on that. Oh, so somebody just knocked on the door and yesterday when we had the wood delivered, so we had ordered um, a face cord and we had talked about, I had talked with the guy about getting two, but he said, I only have time to deliver one, but I could do the other one tomorrow. And I said, okay, well, we'll figure it out. Go ahead and bring the one. Well, so someone just knocked on the door and my husband answered and it was an, a different guy, same company, who's here with the second face cord of wood. So it was just a misunderstanding. It's fine. It's a big deal. So Mike and the kids are out um, right now. They're, they're loading it up. So now we're going to have to really build something to put all this on. 
but we got a great deal on the wood so i'm not mad about it it's just um it was a surprise so we're gonna get all that unloaded and then we'll have lots of firewood i'm so excited Gigi, do you love having a fire yeah. yeah. Okay, so I was able to look over the Kroger deals and there are um, a couple things that I really want to grab. So the Kroger here by us, um, usually like the day of the sales ads, if, if there's really good deals, a lot of that stuff disappears the first day. So I do want to try to get over there here really quickly and get some of those things um, that I want to stock up on. But I don't want to come home to a dirty kitchen with a bunch of groceries. So I'm going to work really quick on pulling this kitchen back together and then I will head out to Kroger, and when I get back from that, we'll tackle the rest of the stuff. Baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better still have um, kids to put things away. I'm taking this with me. Now I got his shorts for basketball and they need some alterations. So I'm going to run that over to the seamstress and see if she can get that done for me. Kitchen area is mostly cleaned up here. We got the trash taken out and then um, this area is done. I have a team that's on dishes so she's going to unload the dishwasher and reload these. And then I have another team that is going to be on well their job is for so He's about to come in here and take care of the floors, and then this space should be good to go. The rest of the kids are on school, and I'm going to head out here in just a second for um, Kroger. So over here are all those organic frozen berries that I got uh, for a dollar. A bunch of those are pizza, cheese, ice cream, because you gotta have it hot dogs, coffee, all of the cream cheese that we got on a deal. These are some more meatballs. This is all of that bacon. Um, if you guys remember, I got the 20 pounds of bacon at the grocery outlet here. And we just packaged those up and into Ziploc. So that's a lot of that. Here's the popcorn chickens and then like the chicken tenders that I just bought. Um, some cinnamon bread, which you'll see on an upcoming grocery thing. Also the ice cream was on a deal. You'll see that coming up. And then back here is all of those pork butts that we got for a really great deal and the brisket. Um, right here is just some potato bread that was on sale. That's the pulled pork that my husband's cooked. The tater tots, that's red meat back there and the sausage that we got on sale. Let me see if I can get this back in here. And then some bread sticks that were also from the grocery outlet. More cheese so I can kind of rearrange some of this stuff too. All of this shelf is all chicken, and then I have to package up that chicken we just bought. This is some um, our slider buns for our little slider hamburgers, and then some breakfast foods that I had made for the freezer. We're getting low on those. I need to do that again soon. This is um, our Lully's minestrone soup. We ate about half of it that night and froze the other half, and then some orange chicken. So we are doing really good with our freezer. I'm so thankful and um, 
just happy to have this because for so long we didn't have any sort of backup. I don't think there's really anything in here. Oh, and here is um, our lunch meat and, and, and here's like um, popsicles and then some like just like kind of microwave items for my teenagers that they like to have. Um, the kids really killed these outshine Mars. They loved that. I had got these at a grocery outlet. I don't know if I showed you guys those or not. Oh, there's still a couple of boxes of the outshine bars in there. So those and then back here is hamburger patties. So doing good, getting stuff stocked up. Being able to shop on the deals has really been what's helped. There's all of our eggs that we got on um, sale. What were those? 99 cents, I want to say, for 18 count. And then all of the cheese that we got. This cheese will last a really long time in the fridge. We'll go through it before it goes bad. And then the milk we just bought. Um, this is some stuff my mom left. And then these apples, I'll have the kids test them, but I want to say these are the ones we had bought one bag and they were not good. I'll have to check and see if that's them. So. Baby, kick your shoes off. You don't have to hide it. Baby, let your head down. Be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes off. Don't hide have been begging to have a lemonade stand come in, come in, come in. Oh, ever got, since we got this uh we got our first customer in here <laughs> so this is their first time this can, is their little stand mom, can, did you have some cute. lemonade mom hold on just a second mommy guys say hi hi, hi. mommy okay here's your jar for your money yes uh oh, oh mommy can i get a cup for tea mom we got our first customer you did and, can i get yeah. a He's just coming back with his money. Yeah, he lives oh, okay. right there. Mom, Smart. can I get a cup, a little cup of a little bit for Gigi? Just uh, like a half a cup for Grace. And then <laughs> the rest of the tape, no. We're going to save the rest for your go, customers, okay? Oh my goodness. It goes no. fast. Here. So you okay. might need to use two hands. Don't get your sign wet. That's good. That's enough. There you go. Only a little bit. You know what? Sweet. Why don't we go ahead, let me pour like two cups so you have it ready, okay? Okay. okay. Guys, I've. Oh. Okay, Lord, this is chaos. Mike decided to take them down to the end on the corner down there so that they can get traffic from both directions of the subdivision. So they're very excited. I'm very excited. I'm gonna go in and try to get something done for a few minutes. Okay, he just took them down to do the lemonade stand. I don't think it will last super long, but while he has all the littles with him, I am going to try to get this situation um under control <laughs> i'm gonna do this pick this up real quick it'll only take me a few minutes um i'd like to vacuum this rug it's been a minute and just get this back just get some order back into the house that's the goal thankfully tonight is um one of the few nights during the week where we don't have anywhere to be so no sports no nothing nobody's working um so that's nice so i want to kind of have like a relaxing night i want to try to get my stuff done now so that i can actually sit down and put my feet up for the rest of the night 
um, and not have to go anywhere, which would be nice. So I'm gonna do that now. I can see you want this too. Cause you've been looking at me all night, trying to figure me out. I just wanna let you know. And I ain't playing no games, maybe you won't change. I only want you. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. told you guys that um, when my parents were here we went to like an antique festival it's where I got that little table um, and so growing up we always played a game called Wahoo and like I have I didn't even know that there was real like Wahoo boards my grandpa my dad's dad had always made the boards like out of wood and it's a game kind of similar to like sorry you play with uh, marbles and then you roll like a dice to roll your turn. So anyway, while we were there at this antique festival, they had like hundreds of little like vendor booths and uh, really cool stuff. And some of it was like super expensive, but then they had like really affordable stuff. And so I was just kind of looking, you know, as we were walking and I saw this, you guys, it is so cool. So it is an actual original Wahoo board game. Oh, I was just so excited. First of all, I was so surprised because I didn't even know that this was like a real game. I thought it was just something that my grandparents had played like their whole life and it was something our family played. So I actually do have like a Wahoo board, but it's just wood that my grandpa um, like did put all the holes in, you know, that we've always played on. And that's the only kind of board I've always played with my whole life. So I was so excited and I bought this and then I showed my mom, she was with us, but they were looking down further and she said, oh yeah, that's exactly what I grew up playing on. I'm like, what? I had no idea. So I don't even know, this is probably like politically incorrect nowadays with like, you know, the Native Americans on it, but I was very, very excited to see it. And it says it's made by Creative Designs Incorporated from Gatesville, Texas. So I grew up in Texas. I just thought this was so cool. Such a neat find, and I would love to like put it in a frame or like on a shelf somewhere for like a game room. Um, I just have to take care of it until then, but super, super cool. And then I was gonna tell you guys that the new uh, blender that we got, Bella used it today to make smoothies for her and Malachi, and she said it works awesome. The pitcher that goes on top is like a super thick glass, and she said it worked great. So that was a good deal, good find. I think I'm going to go upstairs now and try to get the clothes put away and then probably just start working on dinner. So it turns out you cannot get your entire life together in one day, <laughs> but it never hurts to try. And we did get a lot of stuff done. So I am thankful for that. I'm gonna have Bella come down and put these dishes away. Um, the kids did get all the bathrooms cleaned and they cleaned the upstairs for me. Um, and then they've all done their jobs down here. So 
for the most part um well definitely it's looking a lot better than it was and i uh, will just keep working away at it but i really do want to spend time with my family tonight and relax a little bit because we have been go 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 so much and then sick where we still had to be go 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 but not feeling well um so i would just like to get get to sit down and do those kind of things tonight with the family and then hopefully get to bed on time and get up on time tomorrow. <laughs> um, I love my mornings and um, I really love getting up early and having that time to get stuff accomplished because then if I don't do as much throughout the day, like if I just can't or don't get around to it, I don't feel bad because I have the morning. So I probably will not fold that load of laundry in there or two loads, I think by now. Um, I will just do that in the morning when I wake up but I do want to get the clothes upstairs put away. So anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. The promised land was there beyond the great divide.